Israeli soldier Gilad Shalit, accompanied by his parents and brother and sister, returned to his home in Mitzpehila Tuesday afternoon, five years and four months after he was taken captive. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu met Shalit as he stepped off the helicopter at the Tel Nof Air Base at noon, where his parents, brother, sister, and grandfather waited to greet him. Shalit, who was released wearing civilian clothing, had changed into an IDF uniform after undergoing initial medical tests at the military base near Gaza, where he also spoke on the phone to his parents. Prior to his arrival in Israel, the Egyptian television broadcasted the first images of Shalit's steps to freedom as he was forced to undergo an interview on Egyptian television before he was handed over to Israeli officials. During the interview, he said he was informed of the pending release a week ago, but feared something would happen to prevent it from occurring, and he would remain captive for years. He said he missed his family and looked forward to meeting and speaking with people. At Tel Nof, Gilad saluted Netanyahu, who hugged him and welcomed him home, and also saluted Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Benny Gans, and shook hands with Defense Minister Ehud Barak. The three accompanied him as he walked towards his father, Noam Shalit. His reunion with the family was closed to the media, but later the IDF spokesman, Brig- Brigadier General Yov Mordechai, revealed details of Shalit's captivity. Mordechai said during the years Gilad was held captive in Gaza, he had access to the radio and television and was up to date on events in the region. En route to Tel Nof Air Base in the helicopter, Shalit, clearly tired and weak, fell ill and received medical attention before landing. After a clearly emotional reunion with his parents, Gilad underwent intensive medical tests to evaluate his condition. IDF officials said it appears Gilad is suffering from malnutrition and vitamin D, which attests to the fact that he had been confined indoors throughout his captivity. At 4 p.m., Gilad and his family boarded a military helicopter for the last leg of their journey to Mitzpeh Hila. As the helicopters approached the community, they circled overhead, allowing Gilad, who sat in the cockpit, a view of the crowd waiting below. Scores of residents from Gilad's hometown lined the roads leading to his home, holding Israeli flags and sporting t-shirts that said, How good it is to have you home. As the convoy reached Mitzpehila, the crowd cheered, waving flags and called out, Gilad, welcome home.